You're listening to Bright New Voices, the Balboa Press Hour, here on Hay House Radio, and I'm your host, Jen Morris. Stripping, my fight to find me, will take you into the mind, body, brain, and soul of my next guest, Dr. Sunita Merriman, as she journeys to reclaim her true self. Through the gift of her words, you will hear and feel what happens when a child experiences loss and trauma. Sunita's poems give a no-holds-barred account of a grueling and raw battle that is at times tough to read. Yet you will be compelled to keep turning the pages until you get to the last one. The author doesn't only share her fight, but she also recognizes and celebrates the human unconscious that defies suffering and reaches out to be healed and loved. Stripping My Fight to Find Me translates the language and spirit of the unconscious and is about how the intimate and mysterious relationship between science and spirituality make up the sacred in us all. Sunita, thank you so much for being on with us today. Jen, I'm delighted to be here. Now, Sunita, I know that you have said before that you began writing actually out of necessity and that it was really never your intention to write this book. What originally prompted you to begin writing down all of your emotions and, as I said in the intro, the pain and suffering that you had experienced? Well, Jen, that's an excellent question that I actually have given a lot of thought to consciously and unconsciously. I was born a writer. I knew that from a very young age, but due to the trauma and the adverse childhood experiences that I had and the transgenerational trauma, I never was able to fulfill that dream and that reality. So when I started to heal through Davenlu's intensive short-term dynamic psychotherapy, which is a form of interactive deep psychotherapy, Parts of my brain really got reactivated, and I started to write. I wasn't sure what I was writing. I just kept putting down on paper what the thoughts, the emotions, the scenarios were appearing to me, and it was quite a process, as my husband would attest to it. I was writing at all times. I would wake up. I would write. I would wake up in the middle of the night because something came to me while I was sleeping. And I started to jot down the thoughts, the visions, and before you knew it, I had quite a few poems. And if you read the book, there's a total of 65 poems that are in the collection, some which I actually sent to Balboa Press after I had submitted the manuscript because my unconscious was so activated And my creativity was so awakened that things were still coming to me. You know, as I'm sure you do know, Sunita, all of your reviews on Amazon are five stars. And one of your reviewers said, quote, this book makes it hard to put down. The angst, the strength, the real rawness of emotion that comes through each page makes you just want to read them all over and over. So many of these poems felt like they were my own thoughts. Why do you believe that your book and your stories are so relatable to other people? That is actually something that I knew that they were relatable when I was writing them, when I was experiencing them, when I was feeling them. I felt connected, believe it or not, to millions of souls as I wrote them. And I keep a diary and I have written that. So I do believe that I tapped into our collective unconscious and I ended up writing what we experienced trauma or no trauma, as human beings, our suffering, our pain, our shame. And that is the gift that came through me, I believe, not to me. So I feel very, very blessed with all the pain that I have suffered and all the trauma that I actually tapped into the collective unconscious. And that's why it's relatable, because it's not about my story, Jen. It's about our story. Do you feel that your poems tell a story that might enlighten some hope and empowerment to other people that might be reading them? Yes, I do. Because when I feel overwhelmed and feel like I need strength, I listen to them. And it feels like it's an outsider reading to me and they calm me. If I may, Jen, could I share a journal entry from this summer? Absolutely. It was very hard for me to um, publish this, and this is not the journal entry. So this also came to me, and I would like to read it. 
When I think about my reasons of publishing Stripping My Fight to Find Me, I never come up with anything but one answer, to help others. I picture someone broken and alone, thinking they are crazy for feeling the way they do, thinking that no one would understand their pain and aloneness, thinking that there is no way out of the entrapment of their darkness, thinking that no one cares about them and their misery. I think of that one person because I was that person. I believed I was helpless and that no one could or would help me. That despair, that desperation, that dead end. I published my book so that one person could know that they are not alone, that I understand how they feel, that my words describe the places they have been living in, that I know their plight, that I shared their hopelessness, but was able to fight through it and find who I really was. I share my poems so that one person may believe that there is hope for them. I publish my poems so that one person in the dark will find it in themselves to refuse to continue to live in darkness and start to fight till the end towards their light, love, and joy. That is why I bear my pain and my shame. Both were not mine. I was forced to take them in. I was forced to live with them. After a while, I couldn't help but choose to keep them. And after that, I just didn't know anymore that I could turn them loose. I share my poems to say to that one person in the dark, you don't have to continue to live with pain and shame because they don't belong with you. They never did. I shared my poems because I realized they were never really mine. The words were mine, but the story is ours, so it must be shared. I did what I was supposed to do. Mm. It's absolutely beautiful. And, and that is just a taste of the writing and the words on the pages that people can expect to find in your book. Your poetry is absolutely beautiful. I know that you originally didn't want to publish this. You, you've you bared your soul. You've been so raw and, and really naked, if you will. Ultimately, do you think that you have found connection through this entire process? I found connection with myself. That was the detachment. That's what trauma does. That uh, is what developmental trauma is. The millions of us that suffer trauma as children, especially, that damage to the brain is very different than when we are adults. And we lose connection with parts of us. There is very little integration in our brains and minds, and that was the treatment. It is very spiritual, the psychotherapy, and it is very, very scientific. So I shared this so people can understand science has come this far that there is predictable help. Come out of those shadows and get help so you can live the life that you were meant to. It's so important and what you're doing and being so real and talking to people about your struggles, I feel like just takes away the stigma every bit more when we when we all collectively come together to talk about this and say, you know, just because something might not be ultimately working to the best of its ability in your brain doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. Because if there was something that wasn't working on your body, we would be treating you and helping you and supporting you, just as you said. So I think that is so important to get out there. And before I let you go, Sunita, please share with us the website that we can find you on. I know that you also have a YouTube channel and a blog as well. I would be delighted to share this with your listeners. The website is sunitamerriman.com. And actually, you can go to any part of the social platform that I have to support my book, to support my message. So the YouTube channel can be accessed from there. It is Sunita Merriman Poetry. My blog is Self Love, Self Care First. I write every Friday, so come visit me on Fridays. But SunitaMerriman.com is where you can get more information about my book. Sunita, thank you so much for being with us. It has been entirely my pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity, Jeff. 